get into it. Let me let me check my watch here. When did I say Biden was going to drop out? Oh, I said give it a week, didn't I? Oh, I said give it a week, didn't I? And I said by the end of the week. Today is Sunday, mid-Sunday. He drops out of the race just like I thought he would, just like I knew he would. Didn't think he was going to endorse Kamala Harris, but apparently he is con uh, uh, endorsing Kamala Harris. Show you a little bit more on that in a second. But now we're in a territory where the tricks begin. Kamala Harris should be the person. That's who everybody donated to in the primaries. That's who everybody voted for. You know, Biden, Harris. What are they going to do? Are they going to have Kamala step in? I'm sure she's willing to be puppeteered. Or are they going to have the person who I've been loathing this whole time, Gavin Newsom, actually step in? It's definitely not going to be Whitmer. That's not going to happen. She she is a, a loyalist, you know, but she's not going to be the she's not. It's not happening. That's not happening. It's either going to be Kamala or Gavin Newsom. A lot of people are speculating that Hillary Clinton is going to try and step in again. I don't know about that. But the one thing everybody's wondering, has anybody told Biden that he's not running? Because he released a statement on Twitter. <laughs> and Biden doesn't know what Twitter is. There's no way he knows what Twitter is. He has no idea what Twitter is. He doesn't know how to tweet. He doesn't know what to press to do it. He can't see the keyboard. He doesn't know what Twitter is. So I'm wondering, you know, that is a good question. Has anyone told him he's not running yet? Aside from that, let's get serious. Let's listen to some of this. Welcome back to Live Now from Fox. And we have some breaking news as President Joe Biden has just announced that he is dropping out of the 2024 presidential race. This happening just moments ago. You are taking a look at the letter that he has just issued, and we are going to read it in its entirety. It says, my fellow Americans, over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world. We've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors, and in expanding affordable health care to a record number of Americans. We've provided critically needed care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substances, passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are today. It goes on to say, quote, I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together, we overcame a once in a century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We've protected and preserved our democracy and we've revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it had been my intention to seek reelection, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to see me reelected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today what I have always, that there is nothing America can't do when we do it together. We just have to remember we are the United States of America. The letter signed Joe Biden. That was nice. You know, you know, at the end of the day, that was nice. And uh, but here's the thing, though. A lot of people are speculating this, that and I, I said this before, this whole he's sick thing. It was just to make an excuse so he could do this. Because in reality, we all know why he's stepping down. Everyone saw the debate, and everybody's seen him since his first day as president. Everyone's seen him fall upstairs. Everybody's try, seen him try to shake hands with people who aren't there. Everyone's seen him wander off, squat down, do all the weird things that he does. You know, uh, President Zelensky is President Putin, Vice President Trump. We've all heard all of the hilarity. And thank you, sir, 
for all of the hilarity. I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. But that's the reason he's stepping down. And now they're going to make it seem like it was because he was sick. And the thing about it is, if they didn't have the whole sick narrative, you could easily argue, hey, he should be removed as president. Because we know why you're dropping him. We know why you're kicking him out of being the nominee. We know what's going on. So maybe he's not fit to serve. And, you know... A lot, of, a lot of people have been speculating this the whole time. I want to jump right over to a man who stayed really, really intent on exposing that. That man's name is Vivek Ramaswamy. He has been saying this for a minute. I'm going to play some video of him talking about this for almost, I also want to close with one. almost a year now. Here, check this out. Let's go, Vivek. I also want to close with one message to the Democrat Party. End this farce that Joe Biden is going to be your nominee. We know he's not even the president of the United States. He's a puppet for the managerial class. So have the guts to step up and be honest about who you're actually going to put up so we can have an honest debate. Biden should step aside, end his candidacy now, so we can see whether it's Newsom or Michelle Obama or whoever else. All right, Just Mr. tell Mr. us the Swami, truth so we can have an honest debate. <laughs> Ambassador. I also want to... Of a human being. There's a myth that President Biden's running for president. I think they just put a brain dead, hollowed out husk of a human being in the White House because that's more convenient for them. The risk is a thinking person could change their mind. They don't want somebody who could change their mind. They want Joe Biden. Mark my words Joe Biden will not be the nominee for the Democratic Party. We know he's not even the president of the United States. He's a puppet for the managerial class. Step up and be honest about who you're actually going to put up so we can have an honest debate. Biden should step aside so we can see whether it's Newsom or Michelle Obama or whoever else. All right, Just Mr. tell us the truth so we can have an Time honest debate. Up. The president is healthy and vigorous, fit enough to perform his presidential duties. Fit for duty. Fit for duty. Fit to successfully execute the duties of the presidency. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh, Look, if we finally beat Medicare. Yes, you did, sir. Yes, you did. Job well done, sir. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. But yeah, he's dropped out. He's done. There's a lot of reactions going on. You know, Andrew Tate even chimed in. He said, Biden pulling out has me nervous. Maximum vigilance. They have a plan. Maximum vigilance. They have a plan. I would listen to this because Andrew Tate's a part of the CIA. So I think if anybody would know, I think it would be him. And I will never diverge from that. I will never diverge from that. I, if The fact that people can't, I'm not even going to get into it. The fact that people can't see it is crazy. Anyway, <laughs> Tommy Lauren, I'm going to say it again. Gavin Newsom will be the nominee. Do not underestimate him. Nancy has her paws all over this. And Nancy doesn't do anything that she can't win very true and somebody somebody told me in the comments that gavin and nancy are actually related somebody mentioned that that he was a nephew of hers i don't know if that's 100 percent true but if it is true and we already were thinking gavin newsom might be the might be the nominee i mean he's been positioning himself for so long so mm, interesting uh, Don Jr. says Kamala Harris owns the entire left wing policy record of Joe Biden. The only difference is that she is given more liberal, more liberal and less components than Joe, less competent. Sorry, <laughs> which is really saying something. She was put in charge of the border and we saw the worst invasion of illegals in our history. That's very interesting. I did, she was put in charge of the border. But no one's in charge of the border. It's just open. Huh. Interesting. Maybe someone should remind her that she's in charge. Maybe she just forgot. She's just worried about reproductive rights all the time. Uh, Dave Portnoy has something to say here. Let's hear what Dave Portnoy has to say. Read this. There is no way Kamala would have been the nominee if Joe didn't drop out and had run versus other candidates the people who controlled joe also control kamala and just subverted democracy with pure election Ooh, people are going to start getting into this type of talk and rightfully so this is not looking all on the up and up uh, captain dave checking in 
30 miles out to sea, Nantucket. Um, the big news, Joe Biden. Joe Biden says he is not running for re-election, which will conclude probably the greatest negotiation in the history of America. How much did they have to pay the Bidens, the DNC? What was his retirement package? What did Joe Biden, Hunter, what did they get? Because that's all this has been, you know, for a month or two months. It has been, what do we have to do to get you out of this race, Joe? Whatever, they finally got the right price, whatever that may be. Uh, it's what I said from the beginning. They whacked Joe when, they, when the powers that be sent him out for that debate with Trump. They knew what we've known forever. If you have two eyes and a brain, that he was a uh, lettuce head, a vegetable. It's the right movie, shouldn't run. It's not for the right reasons. Like, he, he has been this way for years. And the Democrats have been hiding it. Then they're like, well, he probably can't beat Trump. So we got to get somebody else in there. How they waited this long. So now what? They can handpick basically who the replacement's going to be. What is it? Gavin Newsom, that slime bag from California. I hope not. Kamala maybe with Newsom on the ticket. Gretchen Whitmer, also not a fan. How they waited this long is insanity. And they're trying to hijack basically democracy. They're not letting people vote. It goes to the convention. It's insane because he's been this way before he went and ran. So that in itself is fucking crazy. But the number two thing, so he's stepping down because everybody in the Democrat party is saying he's unfit. He has dementia. George Clooney is not the same. He was different guy. Other people saying they don't recognize me, but he's still going to be president. He's still president. He still has the keys to the nukes. Not fit enough to run for president. Being forced out of the party. Nobody trusts him. But he's still the president. People sometimes get confused. They're like, Dave, you're the, you're Magna, you're the biggest Trump guy. That's not true. That's just not true. But the Democrats are such jokes and scumbags and devious you have to vote for the other guy because of what the Democrats are doing. This and this is obvious he's going to step down, but now, what a fucking joke. Cap Dave. Wow, there you go. Dave Portnoy of Barstool, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Joy, who recently got fired from the Hill. I don't know if you guys know that. Brianna Joy Gray, she uh, got let go for her stance on uh, Palestine, Israel. Joe should have been forced out. Because he underwrote a genocide instead of, instead, donors forced him out after a bad debate. Oh, listen, in, in this situation, you got to get a little conspiratorial. You know, the fact that she's calling it a bad debate is just like, oh, God, like you, you're like, are you going to be that blind? That was just you're you're going on the, the bad day train. Come on, get out of here. I don't even want a reaction. Matt Walsh steps in. He says. Every Republican needs to go on record right now calling for Biden to immediately be removed from office. If he is not competent to run for re-election, then he is not competent to remain in the White House. That is definitely true. Hit that with a like right there. And go ahead and repost that as well. 100%. 100% nail on the head right there. Doesn't make any sense. You know, but again, this is why they created the whole thing of, you know, oh, well, you know, it's just he's sick. He's sick. That's the only reason this is happening right now. It's because he's sick. It has nothing. It has nothing to do with the debate. Nothing to do with what you've seen for the past few years. Everything to do. This is him. Uh, today, I want to offer my full support and endorsement for Kamala Harris to be the nominee of our party this year. Democrats, it's come time. Uh, it's time to come together and beat Trump. Let's do this. Yeah, not gonna happen, buddy. But. You know, I, I will say this good for him for at least supporting the person who's been beside him, you know, like, and again, whatever, you know, <laughs> you know, we all know what both of them are like, but when rumors were going along that he was going to not support uh, Kamala Harris, it was just like, what's going on right now? You know, but at least at least at least he uh, he supported her, you know, which isn't saying much. I got to be honest. Um, someone says Joe Biden is the worst, <laughs> worst president in American history and a quitter. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. 
people are getting rough. I want to see really quick if Tucker Carlson has said anything about this. You know Tucker Carlson might have something to say about this. He's definitely going to do an episode on it very soon. Probably be released on X, I would think. Let's see if he has anything to say. Nope, he has not commented on this yet. Instead, the last... I'm not even going to play it. <laughs> the last thing he posted was Joe Biden insinuate, implying that Obama's gay. <laughs> Tucker is so wild. He's such a great journalist and then goes so left field. I love it. I love it. He says the things that need to be said. And he has fun doing it. I love to see it. But that's what's going on right now. Gavin Newsom. Let's see what Gavin Newsom's reaction was real quick, people. I mean, what's Gavin Newsom saying right now? He's probably just drooling. He's probably just in a room somewhere just drooling. Just going, oh, president. Oh, I'm going to be the president. Oh, God, I want to be president so bad. I want to, want to destroy the country. Mm, I can't wait. To, I want to turn America into California. Mm. President Biden has been an extraordinary history-making president, a leader who has fought hard for working people and delivered astonishing results for all Americans. He will go down in history as one of the most impactful, selfless presidents. Thank you, Joe Biden. Oh, this guy knew this was coming for so long. For so long, Gavin Newsom knew this was coming. So ridiculous. Uh, Joe, Joe Rogan was so right about this guy. Joe Rogan was talking about how Gavin Newsom was talking like a guy that wants to be president, you know? He's he's definitely going for it. He's definitely going to be stepping in there. It's going to be him versus Kamala. If it's him and Kamala on the same ticket, ew, but it wouldn't be surprised. If it's him and he just picks someone else, I don't know who he could pick. Some people speculated that it was going to be Kamala, Vice President Barack Obama. That would be... If they... <laughs> If they do what they've done with Joe Biden and then everything we've seen over the past three, four years, and then on top of that, remove him as the nominee, put Kamala in and then put Barack Obama as her vice president. Come on, man. You can't do that. That would be it's already steps too far. It's a football field too far already with the things that they've put into play. That would be way too much. That would be that would be just a planet far a planet too far just too much if they did that you know and then people of course are going to talk about michelle obama stepping in let's see what the obama said in fact hey man listen i know a lot of you aren't into x and you know i i 100 percent understand because why be into something if you're not with the guy who's running it i get it completely but you do find out quite a bit from this type of stuff obama has not commented uh, let's see if Michelle Obama has commented at all. Michelle, you can just go Obama. Michelle will pop up. There it is. Has Michelle said anything? 22 million followers. Good Lord. Twice as many as Tucker. That's crazy. Michelle has not said anything either. Good Lord. I just got to see if there's, uh, any breaking news with Obama. Cause if there is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna barf. I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna barf everywhere. So there's there's no word, there's no one saying anything. So we'll see, we'll see. And the dark horse of Hillary Clinton, that is something to truly be afraid of. All of this is fun and games, but if Hillary's stepping in again, Hillary's stepping in with the intention to win at any cost. I'm just gonna leave it there. She'll she'll do anything to win at this point. You know what I mean? Look, yeah, somebody said somebody right here was like Hillary Clinton. I don't know. I think this is just, you know, uh, X has a lot of nonsense. I think this is just someone engagement farming. Because then, you know, like underneath all the comments are just going to be super hateful because, you know, Hillary. That's all I have for you guys. I didn't even mean for this to be 20 minutes. It's just Joe Biden's out of the race. Just like I said, I knew it would happen. There was no way it wasn't going to happen. Vivek was right. Joe Rogan was right. What's next? What do you guys think is next? Let me know who you think is the next presidential candidate on the Democrat side. It's Kamala for sure. 
because she's already got the endorsement. So that's easy for her. But who goes up against Kamala? And do you feel like this should go to the people? There should be another primary held where people actually have to vote. Because right now, what they're going to do is all the Democratic-run cities and all the people who are on their side, all the Democrats, they're just going to say, yeah, 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 put this person and put that. I don't think it should be up to them. It should be up to the people. I think this is, I think this is really unfair. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Other than that, I'm out.